Hey guys, we're going to be doing another online battle. The Eagles are flying over this one. I'm going to be playing as Pontus, so my build right here is going to be comprised of, let's take a look at it, it's going to be Bronze Shield Pikemen. I have six of these guys here as my core. Hillmen, two Pontic Swordsmen, and two Eastern Spearmen. So this is supposed to be its own self-contained uh, group of men, and I'm going to be trying to do them in dense formation at the enemy. Here we have three Noble Cav. One mercenary Sith Scythian archer, and over here I actually have a couple more of these guys who are now hidden. Two of these horse archers backed up by Pontic Cav and Levy Pikemen. My opponent is going to be fielding a Seleucid army with the Indian armored elephants. These guys are definitely going to be a huge problem, as well as the Hellenic cataphracts. I definitely have to be catching those on the fronts of my pikes, but the problem is he does have a lot of these archers here. I think that's going to be five of those units, as well as some of these own his own pikemen. However, these are thorax and levy pikemen, so not super strong. And he doesn't really have too many fast cab, which is going to give me an advantage when it comes to my Scythian archers. Now, my main tactic is let's go ahead and go to the overhead. Me pushing forward with this blob, and I want to come at him sort of at an angle like this. My cab is going to be swooping around the side, and uh, what the main point is going to be to try and present him with this wall of spears that he can't necessarily get at and at the same time just constantly be sort of a bird of prey moving around his flanks picking off his most elite troops so my opponent is going to be forming up and all the while I'm going to be picking off his forces now he does have archers however because of the mobility of my troops I'll be able to uh, outrange them just because I can reposition whenever he repositions his archers so his best bet is probably to charge forward which is what he's going to be doing right here. Cataphracts charging out. However, I do have Elite Cav, and these guys can retreat faster than his can charge out. So that means that uh, he's going to be hard-pressed. So he's going to not stray too far from his heavy pike lines. That's probably a good idea. So he's going to be retreating back behind these pikes. I myself am keeping my formation dense. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to be... I'm not looking to engage, that's probably the best way to explain this. I'm just looking to have a blob that I can position in different areas. If I were to line up in a big line, that would be, it would decrease my ability to move these troops. And so I'm sort of in a, a movement column at this point. And then the rest of my forces are going to be moving around trying to engage with his troops. You can see whenever he turns his archers to face me, I'm able to just retreat. And by doing so, it's going to keep my opponent on his toes. You can see how he's in a more drawn out formation. It takes him so long to redeploy his forces and that means he's in a sort of deployed for battle formation as opposed to my own column formation which you would have seen historically. Armies moving in this type of formation it's much much more easy to maneuver and so this is you can you seeing it basically in the uh, in the flesh how these columns of movement and uh, and sort of the deployed armies, how they vary in terms of their maneuverability. So I'm going to be focused on my maneuverability of my main forces, keeping his forces looking at this front here, and then trying to probe for weaknesses with these cavalry here. Charging in with my heavy cav right here, I don't see any opportunities, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off, but all the while I'm just trying to bait him. And I'm going to go rejoin my horse archers on the right flank. You can see he gets off a couple shots, but he's not going to really kill any of my forces. And I'm going to return fire on his men with some of my troops here. His elephants are getting pretty drawn out, so I'm going to fall back with these pikemen. His elephants really can't crack me. If this were a long, drawn-out line, he could just keep pursuing it around the flank. But because I'm a pretty condensed ball, I can go ahead and uh, just reposition very easily. Also here, this solid front is going to prevent him from getting two good shots off on me. Now, I did charge in on his cataphract cav right here with my own uh, troops. You're going to see why I did that. I just wanted to pin them, and I'm going to charge again. So two of my forces here, Noble Blood Cav and my Pontic Royal Cav. I'm trying to get his guys into this conflict because I have supporting guys who are going to be shooting with, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, the type of ar uh, armor-piercing arrow that I'm using. And I want to get his cataphracts up in melee because these guys point blank are going to be doing a good amount of damage. Now he does have his pikes here, but they're not engaging very effectively. He's going to be positioning more and more of his cataphracts on this flank. This may be a problem for me. You can see, however, it has allowed one of my archer groups to go right through. Something you should also do if you have archers, 
don't be fearful of actually charging them into conflict uh, combat, especially against archers like this. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and charge straight through to his men, just like that. Hit the F key to target them in melee, but uh, I'm going to retreat, pull back, and try and hit as many of his archers as possible. It's going to cause them to scatter. Heavy charge from his cataphracts is going to wipe out my archers here. But, uh, you know, the main thing is I have a lot more archers than he does have cav. So my main goal right there was to disrupt this formation. I've pretty heavily hurt his own archers. His cataphracts are going to be drawn into my own pikes here. He's going to decide to retreat. I lost a pretty good amount of men here, but so did my opponent. Look at that. Median, uh, median cavalry is down. These Helen Canifrax are at 19, and he's forced to full scale retreat because my guys are coming up to support. At the same time, I still have horse archers, horse archers, noble blood cav, and noble blood cav. So I am down to four cav. My opponent himself has Hellenic cataphract, Hellenic cataphract. So he has basically two and maybe a quarter units right here. Um, I can just outmaneuver these guys any day, getting off these Bactrian shots at them. So he's going to have to reform, and I think that was a good exchange of cavalry right there. I was able to bait his guys in and just massacre them with my horse archers. His main force here, I was able to hit a decent amount of his archers. Now take a look at this. As of patch 9, the archers seem to hold up very well in melee. Even normal cav, if you can get heavy cav on his archers, they won't always crack. They'll be able to stand still and fight. That's kind of a problem I find with this patch, but uh, I was able to do pretty significant, significant amounts of damage. Over here is going to be charging after one of my guys. They can easily retreat, which allows me to focus fire on these Hellenic cataphracts right here. So here they come. Pretty imposing, unless of course you're on a horse and you can just go ahead and retreat in the face of this armor. These archers are going to try and position themselves to take on my main front. In the back, I am retreating. My opponent can't do anything. And keep in mind that I always like to keep pikes nearby just to have something to fall back on, which is exactly what I'm doing with these forces here. I'm warding off these cataphracts, and because of their decreased maneuverability, there's not much they can do. Now what am I doing? I'm going to be charging straight up the front because my opponent is doing severe amounts of damage. He's focus firing on this area right here, so I know I have to move forward, otherwise I'm going to lose just too many men. So that's why I'm charging forward. At the same time, however, I do charge sort of needlessly with these cav, I was trying to push back his archers here, get them to uh, disrupt their formation, make them scatter, which I did, which allows these guys to move forward, and as I do that, I'm going to be closing in on all fronts. The cataphracts are going to try and charge in through here, it's probably a good move. Over here, counter charge going on over there, I'm going to throw some spears in, and actually let's put this on slow motion. So charge has gone off over here. I sort of knew that would happen, that's why I had more of these spearmen here. They're going to help me take on his cav, however he does have these elephants nearby. That's going to be a problem. Over here I'm going to be moving up my front to take on his men. In the back I'm going to sandwich, I'm trying to disrupt his pikes, hit his archers, disrupt his pikes. And once those pikes are disrupted I'm going to move up with my own line and I'm pretty sure I can take them out. Over here I'm going to counter charge back into his cataphracts who I caught with my Pontic Swordsman. And over here more troops are going to be available to charge in. Now. Right here, take a look at this disruption. His guys are being knocked about, his archers are charged into the rear. It's going to be, be a pretty big morale blow, which is going to be the perfect opportunity for these guys to now start moving forward. At the same time, I was able to force his cataphracts off. They knew it was a bad engagement. The elephants are going to be charging. This is probably the most important part of this battle, is when these elephants try and contribute to the fight. However, they're going to be facing my pikes here, and they're going to fall into this blob. Had he turned them around to annihilate these cav here, that would have been better. These guys could have knocked the back of my phalanx formations. However, he's going to try and go right behind my forces here. I'm going to have to reform. These guys are going to be charging right into the elephants. It's a problem, but look at this. Right behind them, I'm going to have my own pikes. Pretty scary sight facing these elephants. But uh, because I now have my spears up, it should be doing a lot of damage to these elephants. They should be dying. He's going to get one lone elephant to charge back here. Yeah, a decent amount of damage, but uh, overall I do have a good amount of troops in the vicinity. You can see here my guys in the back who were getting just destroyed by his archers are taking a lot of damage. I'm going to keep pushing up. His elephants are going to be facing uh, a long line of spears, so these guys should be dying. However, at the same time he was able to knock out my Pontic Swordsman. My pikes are moving in. Cavalry are going to be charging into these exposed units right here. That's very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, troops going flying. Meanwhile, my guys are ensuring that his cavalry are out of the fight. And now I'm going to be getting the full surround on his troops. 
more of these forces are going to be coming back from this side of the battle. And at this point, the battle was called a draw just because it took so long. I think at this point I would have been able to clean up his elephants here, kill them. My pikes were getting his flank. I had the rear of his archers here with my cav. And he, all he had was these infantry here. I'm pretty sure I could have surrounded them with these. My archers. More of my archers. And more infantry. So I think the battle was in my pocket, but we fought it to a standstill. So let's just go ahead and call it a draw. But I hope you guys can learn from this. And actually, this is a very cool way to, uh, to frame that. So awesome battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Let's go ahead and look at the stats. So you can see right here, what happened is my opponent definitely got a lot of kills with the Indian Armored Elephants, pretty good kills with his archers, concentrating on one of my forces, and his cataphracts did alright. However, you can see on this side, my Mercenary Scythians, who each cost maybe, I think they're like 400, they did a significant amount of kills, probably even to his cataphracts, and most of those kills were targeting pikemen, targeting heavy calves, so that was very useful. And my own noble cav, who were working in conjunction with other spearmen, uh, they got good counter charges and got into his own cavalry pretty well. My own bronze shields, you know, didn't do too much damage, but they were just about to engage. However, the way I used them was to make a create... Uh, uh, a mobile force that I could deploy around the battlefield and you could see how I move them in column march to remain maneuverable and use the rest of my troops to uh, harass my opponent. Anyways, that's going to be it for this battle. I will see you next time.